expecting more snow than rain. Right. But yeah, we could, we'll absolutely take what we can get. You know, here's the problem. You don't want it all at one time. And, and there are some pretty heavy bouts of rain that we may be contending with here as we go into this week. Now, today, even though we have some rain chances, I don't think it's super heavy. It's going to be a mild day here. 44 already. Winds are out of the south and southeast at 8 miles per hour. We're going to see both of these numbers going up, both the temperature and the winds. Some areas are already into the 50s here this morning. Lafayette and Bloomington, one of the uh, some of the warmer spots right now at 52. Warmest spot in the state is down in Evansville, sitting at 53 degrees. 50 in Chicago, 46 in South Bend, a little bit colder in the east where you have clearing taking place into the mid-30s from Fort Wayne over toward Richmond and closer to Cincinnati. Now, mention the winds. I don't think it's going to be super windy all day. It's kind of on the front end as this boundary moves through and squeezes out some rain, but we likely will see gusts anywhere between 30 to 35 miles per hour as we get through the heart of the morning by 9 a.m. and then kind of easing up a bit once we get into the second half of the day. Now, it's going to be a mild one today. I mean, we're already sitting into the mid 40s. I have us sneaking into the lower 50s later on this afternoon. Pretty impressive considering I don't think we get a ton of sunshine. I think it's going to be a very cloudy day today as we anticipate this batch of rain to kind of come through. We're going to get rain in a couple of waves over the next three days. So let's roll through all of our rain chances on future casts. Now, let's roll through here this morning by 8 a.m. You're seeing a few bands of showers kind of hanging out. Again, got to stress here. Not everybody's going to get wet here for today. These are going to be very isolated to scattered. Chances continue as we go into, let's say, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Maybe a decent line just kind of hanging down to the south. And then that line should sag closer to the Ohio River by late tonight. Now, let's move into Wednesday. Wednesday, we start off dry. No issues here. We do have a more widespread band of rain that's going to be setting up shop southwestern Indiana by mid-afternoon. And I think as we progress into the evening, it becomes much more widespread. There will likely be some thunderstorms embedded in this with a few heavy downpours. This is at 11 o'clock tomorrow night. Overnight looks pretty wet as well. Leading into Thursday morning, you can see the heavy rain here. That's going to continue through daybreak. And then I think by around midday and beyond, the rain pulls out of here and we'll dry things out for your Thursday. I think we get a decent amount of rain. And again, a lot of this won't come from today. Some of it will, just a little bit. Most of this will be Wednesday evening into Thursday morning. And I think a lot of the state here, a pretty good chance of seeing one to as high as two inches of rainfall. And there could be some isolated higher amounts. So we could see a little bit of minor flooding issues. Just kind of keep that in the back of your mind here. Mild day tomorrow. And again, most of your Wednesday should be dry until, let's say, as, as early as late afternoon. I've got us at 49. We'll actually see the numbers rise as we get uh, closer to midnight. And then watch Thursday morning. Pretty blustery here as that front moves through. Could see wind gusts anywhere between 30 to 40 miles per hour. One more system that we got to keep an eye on here on Friday and still a bit of a question mark of what we may be seeing. So in the eight day forecast presented by Buick, Friday 43, we're going to go chance rain and or snow. Some areas may see some snow showers out of this system. It is going to bring some colder temperatures for the weekend, but we're dry. Saturday 36, Sunday 45, but warming quickly. Monday 49, back to the mid 50s by Tuesday. Thank you, Marcus. It is